When I am out in nature, I can really just feel the, the whole scope of emotions. It's giving you an opportunity to see something bigger than yourself um, and to just see it, pay attention to it. You may not understand it, you may not be able to quantify it, but it still calls for a response. So it's, it's really saying, here I am, show me something, um, and it never fails to deliver. Well, I think some of the things that I love about God and the way He relates to art is you recognize like, not just how creative God is, but how intimate He is, that He notices each tiny little you know, hair on an insect, and He, he knows every leaf on the tree. Um, he knows the different colors in our skin um, and our, our hair on our head. So when you're painting someone, you're really thinking, like, God sees this person so clearly, um, knows us through and through. So part of it's saying that this matters to God, it should matter to me. As a child, I just loved to draw, I loved to create. Um, it was a lot of just your normal stuff with crayons and pencils and coloring books and modeling clay. Uh, I think when I was about 10, I drew a picture that I realized suddenly, like, that's better than I thought I could do. This is actually something remarkable for me. I'm impressed with myself. Um, and it, I was so surprised, but I realized like this might be something I should pursue. So as I grew as an artist, as I progressed from just a kid who loved to draw to saying this is going to be my job and my vocation. It was really a journey from saying I love this, doing it in my free time, to realizing I should take some classes and really learn some of these skills. I tried some painting classes, some drawing classes, just blew my mind the kinds of things these teachers were telling me and I think my art at least doubled in, in what I was able to do, what I was able to, to see and to notice and experiment with. So going from college to being self-employed and having an art business was a big transition, but it's just been an incredible journey of, of learning what it looks like to be an artist. Sometimes you have to just cling to it. Um, because it's hard and it's very unpredictable, but what has kept me going is just so much support from people and that inner sense that this is what God wants me to do. He keeps me inspired, He keeps giving me new challenges, keep stretching me, and keep being playful, keep experimenting, keep trying new things. I, I like to paint portraits that are hopeful. There are portraits that can be you know, very dark and I don't mind showing suffering and showing angst, you know, showing difficulty, but I want to show hope in the midst of that. I want to show that we're resilient. I want to show that there's room for redemption. I want people to look at the things that I paint and know that there's honesty there and that they have room to just sit and be safe with whatever they're feeling. I want them to say there's something here that's asking me to slow down and to ask myself important questions and I'm safe here to be who I am, where I am and learn something and, and that maybe even you have something to give by the way you interact with that piece.